Hello, a very good evening to you. Welcome to ITV News Central. We'll have more on the disruption caused by today's bad weather in the Midlands in a moment. But we start with more on the news that Nelson Mandela, the former president of South Africa, has died aged 95. His links to the Midlands were strong. A school in Sparkbrook in Birmingham is named after him. And in 1993, he visited after his release from prison. Staff there said he was an inspiration to all. You don't expect a man of his, I don't know, influence to come and say it's a pleasure to meet a normal person. So that's how I felt, so it was really nice. He waved at all the children and he was just such a wonderful, charming man. Very, very inspiring. And we will have uh, more memories of Nelson Mandela as well as his uh, links to the Midlands on tomorrow night's programme, ITV News Central, of course, at six o'clock tomorrow evening. Next, dramatic footage after strong winds forced the pilots of two planes to abort landings at Birmingham Airport. The wild weather caused significant disruption across the region and a number of people were injured by falling trees and debris. Our correspondent Mark Goff reports. 12.30 this afternoon and an Emirates Boeing 777 from Dubai is coming into land at Birmingham Airport. Winds were whipping over the runway and the pilot aborted the landing. It's thought he made a second attempt to land after this, but that landing too was aborted and the flight was diverted to Gatwick Airport. It refuelled and landed back in Birmingham just after three o'clock this afternoon. But the high winds caused problems too for another flight coming into Birmingham. The Met Office today said winds hit almost 60 miles an hour in the West Midlands, plainly too much for this smaller aircraft. Birmingham's Frankfurt Market was closed after a roof came off one of the stalls, injuring two people. It happened just as organisers were closing the market because of the weather. A woman was taken to hospital when a window blew out of a building alongside the canal in Birmingham city centre. Trees were brought down in Shropshire and in Birmingham. West Midlands Fire Service said 20 trees had been felled because of the winds. Parts of Cannock Chase were closed too. A short time ago, Birmingham Airport said the flights which failed to land earlier had diverted to East Midlands Airport and a handful of other flights had more than one attempt to land, but the airport remained fully operational. Mark Goff, ITV News. Well, we will have a full weather forecast in a few minutes, but you can keep up to date with what's going on with the storms on our website, itv.com slash central. A 39-year-old man has been arrested on suspicion of murder after another man was found at the bottom of a block of flats in Coventry. It's thought he'd fallen from the eighth floor. Sally Lockwood reports. A passerby saw the man lying here outside this block of flats shortly before 11.30 last night. It appears he fell from the eighth floor of the building on Eden Street in Coventry. Despite attempts to save him, he was pronounced dead shortly after arriving in hospital. Almost exactly 12 hours later, at around 11 o'clock this morning, a 39-year-old man handed himself in at a police station in the city, where he was arrested on suspicion of murder. It was clear to officers that a disturbance of some sort had taken place prior to this male being found. We don't know at this moment in time whether that disturbance was a verbal dispute, whether it was a physical argument, and at this moment in time we remain open-minded as to whether that disturbance is definitively linked to the male who was subsequently found with injuries. Police are treating the death as an isolated incident, but it's left residents here on edge. Uh, I didn't sleep all the night last night. Even my wife, she's pregnant, she's scared to... I'm going to work four o'clock. She said, can you take me with, me, with you? And she's scared. I'm sleeping, the policeman come in, lock my door, just take my name out of us, that's it. And did you hear anything going no, on? No, no, no. It's really shock, really shock if I'm living there and I didn't know anything, I just know now. Police haven't yet confirmed if the man they've arrested and the man who died here were known to each other, but they've described the scene here as complicated and are appealing to anyone who was in the area last night around 11 o'clock and who may have seen or heard anything to contact them immediately. Sally Lockwood, ITV News, Coventry. There was mixed news out of the Chancellor's autumn statement today, but businesses here received something of a boost. One tyre business in Wolverhampton says it's going in the right direction because they've adapted to compete through tough times. George Osborne today announced measures to help firms reach out to new markets. 
Plenty of people are unhappy though, following the news that the retirement age for millions will go up. With unemployment and things now, it's not like we're a generation that's got it particularly easy at the moment, so it's kind of just to be expected, really. I think they can make it, to be honest. Um, I think it's mean. I think it's, it's wrong. Uh, I don't think it's fair at all, you know. Um, to work at 70, it's just... It's not, it's not a great uh, thing, really. And More positive news now, and Jaguar Land Rover has announced it's going to build a new factory in Brazil. The West Midlands-based car manufacturer will produce up to 24,000 cars for the Brazilian and South American markets. The factory will cost £240 million to build and will employ 400 people. A family from Solihull are warning about the dangers of putting too much information online after they were burgled. The Bateman family were left £35,000 out of pocket after their son posted information on social networking sites saying they were away from home. Oh, horrified. Protect everybody, educate everybody because it's so dangerous and you put on things um, not knowing that there are people out there that are going to tell other people, for example, that you're not going to be there or they're watching you. Well, time now for a look at tonight's very important uh, weather forecast. Here's Manali Luca. It could be cool in Birmingham, but somewhere in the world, the sun is shining. ITV Central Weather, sponsored by Turkish Airlines. Hello, good evening. Today's winds will continue to ease overnight tonight. It's going to be a very cold night, a widespread frost and the risk of seeing some ice. And for the ice, the Met Office have got a weather warning out in force, so do be warned of that. Overnight tonight, dipping temperatures, a widespread frost, as I mentioned. Under clear skies, most places will be dry, just the chance of seeing a few wintry showers. So a very cold start to the day tomorrow morning, a frosty start with some ice in places. Through the course of the day, we'll see some bright spells, but perhaps clouds Clouding over through the afternoon. It's going to be quite a chilly day. Temperatures really struggling. Highs of just four or five. ITV Central Weather, sponsored by Turkish Airlines. Well, that is all we have time for tonight. As ever, we are back bright and early tomorrow morning with bulletins within daybreak. Until then, from the late team, have a very good evening. Goodbye for now.